All right. So I uh, I now <coughs> have the um, the voxel um, arrangement set up. A uh, before I had a model of the Enterprise, which was a, a simple thing that I had made for the the previous uh, version of this program that I had been working on. Um, but um, so the um, the just this one is it's a, it's a replacement for the uh, for that model. Um, it uses the same keys to control it. Um, I basically just copied all the control code from the old one, uh, but uh, <coughs> added in some stuff here. Um, I set it up so that you can specify the the number of points you want on each axis, and uh, then it uses NumPy functions to um, subdivide the space between 0 0.5 or negative 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Um, that many times in each dimension and then later those get used um, to specify the x y and z values of all the points um, so as you can see down here um, you've got uh, <coughs> it, it was behaving strangely so I had to do some stuff to make it work but um, um, so it, it's giving me six points um, each time that this loop runs so for all those values, uh, it's going to make six separate points. Um, each one set above and below, or to the left, to the right, uh, you know, and uh, forward and back. Not in any particular order there, but um, so that it makes uh, essentially something equivalent to a, a cross there, I guess. Um, but there's space so that. They, uh, I actually should set this. Um, you can make that lin space function. You can make it return a. Um, you can make it return the step. Um, there, so I, I'm. I should give it a spacing value here, that gets passed in from up there. Um, but that'll be something to do. Um, so here, <coughs> let's show it running. It's. Pretty simple. Um, all the keys to rotate. It's well, the timer function rotates in the x, y, and z values, just uh, based on a sign um, timer thing. And uh, here I can rotate about that axis. I can increase the point size, make it a little bit more visible. But um, so, <coughs> as you can see here. Um, there's six times as many points as uh, you know, ten by ten by ten would suggest. Um, there's it because each one has become six separate points um, that are just randomly colored. And uh, so what I can do is, and the reason I actually set it up this way was so that I could do something like this, um, where you select what primitive to. Well, this is the primitive uh, that would um, be drawn from the arrays there. Um, uh, change that from GL points to GL lines and um, <coughs> that will make it uh, sort of a, a little you know like the axes that you see in graphing and whatever. So um, and the cool thing about that is because they're randomly colored it interpolates along that line and also, um, it'll give it a bit of a cool gradient between the things if you look at it close. <laughs> it's kind of cool. But um, again, uh, scaling is still um, in place from before. Um, I think it looks kind of cool when it's dense like that. Um, but. Uh, so yeah, that's this is this is what I've got running so far, and um, that's I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, that's all.